Exactly. And there's so many dance, you know, there's, it's, it's, there's a Black Panther in it, um, referring as much to the Black Panther Party of the 60s as foreshadowing Black Panther. Um, there, it's its own kind of street demonstration. There's anti-racist graffiti. Um, there is very percussive dance that is a, as, as if tap dance had turned back into a form of drum street dance. Um, and it's absolutely fascinating. This is following, you know, and he's, he's in a night landscape. I know some of you um, know, and he's, he emits little cries. Um, it's, it's violent and angry in a way we rarely see him, but, you know, it also follows this you know, kind of let's all love each other video and these pleasurable moments of watching Michael do South Asian dance, do Russian dance, you know, who do every kind of, um, of dance. So it, it's this sense of multiple personalities um, that was also fascinating. And also, you know, here's my, here's good, lovable, I love everybody, Michael, and here is, um, you know, angry, um, angry, political, um, aggressive um, mm -hmm. Michael. Here are all the codes. Um, it, <clears throat> when you think about Michael Jackson as an activist as well, you know, there's a... Yeah. Sorry, there was a, there was a fight. Me too, yeah. Um, where the, when you think about Michael Jackson as, as an activist, you, uh, and um, you think about... So the, the song, They Don't Really Care About Us, yes. you know, the chorus of it has been reused quite a lot in uh, Black, Black, Black Lives Matter and Mountain Marches. And, yeah. and so that... That thing that he did, that he was so good at doing, was being not overtly political, I think. There was a sort of unifying, let's all love each other message, as you described, but also there was something a little bit more um, poking at political structures that he was very clever at never making too overt, which I, I guess allowed him to be quite mainstream. Yeah, I, no, I think that's absolutely right. And he was determined to be both, you know, to be total triumphantly mainstream I mean, in to be the biggest global star in the world. He once said as a young man, I want to be uh, as loved, as universally loved as Mickey Mouse. Um, and yet, you know, it's true, he wanted to be controversial. He wanted to, um, you know, integrate the, um, the anger um, and the politics of um, everything from, you know, Hip hop to um, post black power civil rights, and he coded it always. But you know, so much visual imagery as well as dance imagery and these music beats. Um, yeah, you know, even something like if you go, the National Portrait Gallery has a wonderful show. If you're going up to London, called On the Wall, and many many artists, um, all inspired imaginatively in some way by Michael Jackson. So the work goes from portraiture to wildly, you know, surreal um, images and, and um, videos. But there's, there's a Bucharest concert that he gave. And, um, you know, there he is doing, how many of you remember Jam? That, um, jam, the, Jam, Here Comes the Man. Jam, Jam, Here Comes the Man. Um, and he does it with Michael Jordan, the great basketball star. That's the original video. In, um, you know, in this concert, it becomes, you know, this kind of, you're thinking, Bucharest and this, this dictator they've just, you know, um, been coming out of the shadow of, you know, and it becomes this strange, aggressive, um, potent um, war cry, you know, whereas it was playtime with Michael Jordan, 